As the dawn slowly mists out of the darkness of the night, thus beginneth a new day. Yet there is something peculiar about this new day. Something feels different. An odd, indescribable feeling. Greetings, Temperance Villagers! Good morning, I am Dan, and you are tuned into WRAN-FM Temperanceville Radio. It's 76 degrees and sunny this morning looking out the WRAN-FM Temperanceville Radio weather cam. It's another beautiful start. But that odd feeling persists. I mean, something is different, isn't it? Something isn't quite the same. Or is it? I mean, there is fat little Tim. He's still selling newspapers. Still the same 10-year-old looking mid-30-something white male who lives in his parents' basement and his only job is selling newspapers. Oh, and Bitcoin. He sells Bitcoin. Last week he sold eBay. The week before last he sold Amway. And there's Dot's store. Dot's Market and Grocery. Since 1951, located at 42 Wabash Avenue, Temperanceville. Still the same Dot's. Smokes and Cokes, donuts, subs and sandwiches, fine handmade candies, bun wraps, and fried chicken tenders. Yep, same old Dot's. Oh, look! There's Mr. Samuel Sidewinder Savage. Mr. Savage walks with a bad hip. He has had a bad hip since he served in the Korean War. Yes, there is Temperanceville Tavern. It's the same old Temperanceville Tavern. Cold beer, hot food, lukewarm reception. Seems a bit, I don't know, I can't quite put my finger on it. Different somehow. Well, there's a familiar face. That is Agriculture Andy, or as the locals call him, Andy the Aggie. They also lovingly tease his wife, Nancy the Naggy. Andy the Aggie likes to tend to his farm while feeling happy. That's why he starts every day with a nutritious breakfast at the Temperanceville Tavern. He enjoys a three-egg cheese omelet with three crispy strips of bacon, whole wheat toast, a shot of Jim Beam, and a couple of pounder-sized old Milwaukee draft beers. Yep, nothing's changed. Welcome everyone to the first annual WRAN-FM Temperanceville Radio Food Truck Festival. We here at WRAN-FM Temperanceville Radio will be sponsoring this year's event where local food truck caterers will be showcasing their talents and serving up their greatest food. There will be six different food truck teams that will be competing for that highly coveted title in all of Temperanceville, the WRAN-FM Temperanceville Radio Food Truck of the Year. Before we get to the nutty, gritty, greasy grind of today's events, we have a few announcements. First, the Temperanceville Ladies Auxiliary will be hosting an ice cream social this Sunday with an E. See what I did there? Sunday with an E. Ah, never mind. The Temperanceville Ladies Auxiliary will be hosting an ice cream social this Sunday at the John Dis Manor in Estates, beginning with Avant Les Glaces, being served at 145. The public is not invited, gathering by invitation only. Should you have not received an invitation, then obviously this ice cream social is not for you. This is a formal event, so if you did receive an invitation, please wear something that costs at least $500 or that you have to rent. Ha! They should call this the Temperanceville Ladies Auxiliary Ice Cream Antisocial. And finally, for the WRAN Temperanceville Food Truck Festival, the Temperanceville Get Highway Department has closed the square of Temperanceville from the 200 block of Wabash Avenue to the junction at Neptune Street. This closure will be in effect from 1 p.m. today until 1 a.m. tomorrow morning. The Temperanceville Police Department would also like to include that anyone who breaches any of the traffic control barriers will be dealt with to the fullest extent of the law, including and not limited to fines, community service, probation, imprisonment, or sex trafficking. And now, looking down from the WRAN-FM Temperanceville Radio weather cam onto the beautiful downtown square of Temperanceville, Pennsylvania, it's the WRAN-FM Temperanceville Radio Food Truck Festival. There are six individual catering companies and their teams competing for $6.71 in cash and prizes, and a chance to lay claim to the WRAN-FM Temperanceville Radio Food Truck of the Year Award. Let's meet our contestants, shall we? Our first contestant from Temperanceville, Pennsylvania is the Rasta Fruit and Veggie Snack Machine owned and operated by Rufus Washington and Pablo Pepe. If it looks like Pepe is just standing there bewildered as all hell because he has a strange finger penetrating in his anus and Rufus with a shit-eating grinning look on his face, why, that is just your imagination and you're a perv. Get some counseling. Irregardless, as long as they wash their hands, it's no one's business. Rufus and Pepe operate the Rasta Fruits and Veggie Snack Machine, serving a delicious tropical fruit mix served in a delicious, one-of-a-kind potato chip bowl. Yes, an edible bowl made entirely from potato chips, fried to stick together and form, then glazed with a sea salt and honey mixture to give it that shiny, moisture-resistant, edible, crunchy bowl you eat at the end or with the fruit. Or try a boring, dull veggie platter with your choice of dip dressing. And plenty of other delights, such as a blueberry ganja served in 7, 14, or 28 gram portions, now available in cartridge form. The Rastamon Fruits and Veggies Mon uses a 1983 Chevy P30 step band with Chevrolet 350 V8 engine Mon with the three hidden stash compartments. Our next contestant hails from Triton, the largest moon orbiting Neptune, which of course is the seventh planet in our solar system and the home of Stella's Intergalactic Cafe and Bakery. 
In fact, today's contestants are direct trainee underlings of Stella herself at the cafe. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing Out of This World Burgers and Fries Interplanetary Mobile Nourishment Replenishment System operated by Mugu C. Esh and Jeff. Their catered offerings today include the Halap Anal Probe Burger, a possibly tasty burger patty with diced fresh peppers that will leave a metallic taste in your mouth, a slight burning and or swelling sensation in the colon area, and an intoxicating feeling of not knowing where you've been for the last 10 minutes. Not up for it? Then order yourself a large Triton fries coated with stardust and your choice of volcanic nitrogen, ochre, lava, cheese sauce, or the coolest of cools, the sodium chloride and icy vinegar. The happy and alien couple drive a spaceship that highly resembles a 1983 Chevrolet P30 step band, but is actually a Coelian 2000 retrofitted with a microwave propulsion generator and men's and women's individual restrooms. Introducing contestant number three, the Espresso Stop. Be sure to top off your delicious food truck meal with the Espresso Stop's original signature espresso latte with a generous shot of raspberry puree. Or you can have the plain, boring, light rose black coffee served in a styrofoam cup. They have those too. The owner-operators of the Espresso Stop are the Torotino Sisters. Meet the manager of the Espresso Stop and the middle Torotino Sister, Tammy Torotino. Tammy is 20 years old and has foregone college to run this family venture. And be sure to say hello to the oldest Torotino Sister, Tanya Torotino. Tanya not only is the oldest sister, she is also the ugliest. Also, as an additional resume enhancer, she also has the lowest IQ of the Torotino Sisters. She comes in at a heartbreaking score of 71 in the IQ test. No wonder she works for the family business. I mean, she ain't going to work for anywhere else. Seriously, look at her. Would you hire that? Dumb? Ugly? Slow? Would you? Let's welcome the youngest... Whoa, nice tits. Wow. That's an awesome rack. Yeah. Welcome, tits and... T Tiffany Torotino to the WRAN Temperanceville Radio's Food Truck Festival. These ladies conduct coffee business in a 1983 Chevy P30 step band with a GM 7.5 liter engine, which is way too much power for these ladies. In fact, it has a four-speed manual transmission that the girls have already burned up two clutches on. It is also equipped with a propane-fueled water heater with a 100-gallon capacity. If that thing food is what you seek, then the Temperanceville Food Truck Festival, sponsored by WRAN FM Temperanceville Radio, is exactly what you need. How about some juicy and tender Chinese barbecue? Visit Andy and Aggie and Tina Chinho over at the Red Korean Barbecue Truck and get yourself a big old slab of Korean barbecue. Then let them drizzle or splash your choice between three delicious sauces. Try the teriyaki tea song delight, or maybe you prefer the ginger and rice and everything nice. Or if you like things with a kick to it, try the Korean fire, the sweet and spicy sauce. Whether you have the teriyaki, the ginger, or the Korean fire, or the non-specified meat on a stick, or even what might be pork, egg rolls, you will enjoy meeting Andy the uh, Aggie and his half-sister Tina Chin Ho. They shared a father, a drifter that came into town at least twice, while Andy has a white mother and Tina's mother was Chinese. And she still is. Andy and Tina sell their meats out of a 1983 Chevy P30 set van. The van was originally a potato chip truck selling salty snacks manufactured by the Temperanceville Home Company, or THC Incorporated for short. It was sold at auction and remodeled by Andy and Tina. They replaced the chip racks with Garland Incorporated liquid propane-powered woks and deep fryers, cranking out 45,000 BTUs per unit. Our next food truck in the Temperanceville Food Truck Festival, sponsored by WRAN-FM Temperanceville Radio, is straight out of yesteryear. From your childhood, here is the Good Humor Truck. The Good Humor Truck is loaded with delicious chocolate, vanilla, and strawberry ice cream. Or how about a delicious grape, orange, or lemon-lime soda ice cream float? The Good Humor Truck is also well stocked with a variety of other ice cream treats, including Klondike bars, Nutty Buddies, Frozen Head on a Stick, Magnums, ice cream sandwiches, and all kinds of popsicles. The Good Humor Corporation offers temporary franchises to college students as a means to pay for tuition, and they have sponsored a local group of individuals here at the Temperanceville Institute of Technology. Let's meet the Good Humor crew. The youngest of the... Oh my, this kid looks like about half a pussy. Wow. Ah, that, that's his parents' problem. The youngest of the Good Humor crew is T.I. Tech freshman Logan McQueen. He is majoring in ballpoint pen repair. What? The next to the oldest Good Humor... Oh my god! What the hell is wrong with this dude's eyes? They're like bugging out of his head or something. I, I, I don't know, maybe you just seen a ghost? Some kind of symptom. Something's going on. Anyways, old Bug Eyes here is otherwise known as Zachary Fishman. He is a junior at T.I. Tech. And he majors in computer science. And finally meet the oldest, Stu Dent. He is a senior at TI Tech. He has a major in scrapbooking and a minor in cannabis cultivation. Stu isn't a very good pupil. Stu doesn't have to be. His father is on the board of directors, so Stu is privileged and a member of the elite class. Our next contestant is a bit different. 
We are not totally sure what the company's name is, so we just nicknamed them the Mysterious Black Band Catering Company. The owners never quite answered all the questions on the WRAN FM Temperanceville Radio's Food Truck Festival application, so... But their menu includes sliced white and rich bread with your choice of topping, butter, margarine, or grape jelly. And another favorite on everybody's list, cup of water, with or without cup. And we gave them nicknames, too. Here's Mike the Meat Tenderizer. And he's Tommy Knuckles. And he's the boss. Aw, look at that little girl standing behind the Korean barbecue truck. Isn't she just the cutest little thing? Oh, I would give her 50 bucks right now. She would open up the back door and scare Andy the Aggie in his Korean barbecue. Fi oh, shit, she's doing it. What the? We might be right back after these commercial messages. WRAN FM Temperanceville Radio. <laughs> 